Welcome to EdTech 501, Introduction to Educational Technology. In this presentation, I'll give you an overview of the course and explain how the course is organized. First of all, the course is organized around six major themes. Professionalism, ethical issues in educational technology, improving and adding to your tech skills, evaluation of technology planning, technology trends, and ed tech research. Let's talk about professionalism first. Under this particular heading, we encourage you to join ed tech networks and become connected with professionals in the field. At the beginning of the course, we encourage you to join our EdTech Graduate Student Association, which is an excellent way to start networking within our EdTech community and then beyond. You will create a learning log in this course, which can serve as your method of organizing and categorizing all of the artifacts you will be creating throughout our program. This learning log will really help you organize your final showcase portfolio, which you will create at the end of the program. In fact, you can even take this WordPress learning log and convert it to a showcase portfolio. We have you look at a lot of different kinds of tech tools, and we really like using the collaborative tools found in Google Apps. They're free, they're web-based, and they're easy to use, as well as being able to share them with other people. In this course, you'll be using Google Plus, and I'll be adding you to a circle and sharing those circles with you. You can use them to share items, collaborate with classmates, even hang out in a Google Hangout. We'll use YouTube as a way to post some of our multimedia. At the beginning of the course, you will create an introductory video which you can use at the end of your EdTech program to reflect upon how much you've learned. As I said before, we use WordPress to host your learning log. It's a free web-based tool. We use Glogster in this course as a way for you to represent the evolving definitions of educational technology. I think once you use this tool, you'll instantly spot and think of ways you can use it in your own classroom. We use VoiceThread, which is a way for you to create a multimedia narrated presentation with other students. What you do with VoiceThread is address a digital inequality scenario. Google Reader is a great tool to use to collect and organize your RSS feeds and also share those, some of those items with your Google Plus account. Under ethical issues, you will be addressing a digital inequality scenario with your class members. We look at tech trends, specifically the Horizon Report. You investigate some of those trends and the National Education Technology Plan and create a lesson plan, a tech trends lesson plan, which is a great way for you to think of using these tools in your classroom. Under EdTech Research, you will be using Zotero, which is a Firefox plugin. If you've not used this tool before, prepare to be amazed and surprised. We'll be using Google Scholar to conduct and search for peer-reviewed articles, as well as the Boise State Library and the Boise State Library Guides. We have a lot of resources to help you in your research. And you'll learn how to use RSS, really simple syndication, to stay on top of dynamic websites and other information in the field of educational technology. You'll also be using Digo, which is a social bookmarking tool, and then some. We'll also use Digo to annotate websites. You'll be looking at your other classmates' learning logs and writing annotations directly on the web page. Finally, under evaluation, we look at technology use planning. It's a big part of this course, and you write an overview on your understanding of technology use planning and then you conduct a school or a business environment evaluation. Most of the students really enjoy this activity even though it is a lot of work because it gives them a better feel for 
where their school is right now and where they envision it could go. And remember, you are going to be instrumental in your school for technology planning and making recommendations to your school. So this is a very important activity for you. That's it. Professionalism, ethical issues, trends, tech skills, research, and evaluation. I welcome you to EdTech 501 and look forward to learning with you this semester. Again, welcome.